Welcome to Retirement UTV. My name is Cynthia DeFazio. I'm joined today by Tim Lofton, and Tim is the CEO of the Retirement Blueprint. Tim, how are you today? I am doing well, Cynthia. How about you? I am doing fantastic. It's so good to see you again. How's yeah. everything going for you? Going well. Going well. Uh, you know, the kids are back in school, which is which is good. Yeah. Uh, like in-person learning. So right. that's <laughs> <laughs> which there. for a while was a thing of the past. Uh, yeah, that was. Uh, you know, I, I'm not set up to be a home school teacher. Mm -hmm. I've, I've figured that out. I, when I have to Google my daughter's uh, math homework, that's yeah. not that's not good. <laughs> somebody more, somebody more uh, skilled should be doing, <laughs> taking, taking that. I have a lot of respect for teachers. Well, let's talk about that for a second because not only did you have that going on, but you also have two new additions to your family. So I let's do. talk about your I two do. new additions. So we have two new puppies. Yay. Uh, we have a, a boxer puppy puppy and then we have a mix that we got from the uh, the Dayton Humane Association okay and they are fantastic most of the time okay okay <laughs> so we had a we had a boxer uh, for 13 and a half years yeah. and she just passed away a, a, a few months ago oh, no, and sorry. so it was a really big impact on on our family and just you know I mean I had her at my in my office every day oh. uh, you know sleeping of course yeah, but yeah. you know laying in her bed and she was there and it was it was just it was a really uh, it was a really tough time yeah they but, are part so of the family we have these uh, these yeah. two new little puppies and in between playtime, they still sleep in the office with me. So it's Oh, I love that. Great. And you and I were on a Zoom call one time, and I remember I think you had Amazon come to the door. Yes. And all of a sudden, it was mass <laughs> chaos. You're right. like, excuse me for one moment. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Well, I am so glad. And I love that we're doing the shows together, Tim, because I know mm. the viewer response has been amazing. Mm. We gauge that by the amount of lights that are coming up on the phone, if you will, as we're going right. to the commercial break. So the last time we were on air together, actually, last week, mm. We had a caller that we were not able to address his questions. Okay. So if you don't mind, I'm just going to run with it right out sure. of the gate. Okay. Actually, this is a great question. It says, I have a question. I am from Kettering. I would like to know, Tim, what is the biggest surprise expense in retirement? Oh, it's a great question. So it's not what you think. It's actually taxes. Taxes wow. are, without a doubt, the, the largest expense that we see in retirement. And the reason is that if you look at what most retirees own, mm -hmm. their mm -hmm. largest investments are typically what? A 401k, an sure. IRA, 403b, tax deferred plans. And they're great plans while we're saving, right? I mean, the, sure. the IRS doesn't tax us along the way, but when we go to take money out, it becomes taxable. And mm. so the difference, one of the things that we try to educate our clients on is that the number you see on your statement is not what you really have. Mm. Because let's take, for example, someone that has a million dollar IRA. Okay. It's a million dollars on their statement, but if they were to take all of that money out of their IRA, it's probably seven hundred, seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars Wow. So that's a pretty big difference in actual value versus what they could actually take out. And okay. so when we're thinking about retirement planning, the tax component, as you know, we have a, kind of a, a, a process, the retirement blueprint. I'd love to pull up your graph sure, if we could, because sure. I think it's an amazing process that okay. you put together called well, the retirement blueprint. So, so yeah, if you look at if you look at our, our process on screen, you'll see that, you know, one of the cornerstones of retirement planning is actually tax planning. Mm. And remember, we've talked in, in other shows that ta the difference between tax planning and tax preparation. Mm -hmm. Tax planning is what I'm talking about now. When we're taking a look at how are we going to pull money out of retirement and what's the best way to do that and over what period of time it becomes very important that we have a CPA sitting at the table with us to help us make those decisions and to think not just over this year or next year or the next five or ten years but really looking down the road okay. at, uh, at, at what what the plan needs to be. Okay, absolutely. Let me ask you a question also. Um, if people are working with a CPA right now, Tim, mm -hmm. how important is it to have a CPA and, and a financial advisor at the same table working hand in hand? It's essential. 
Okay. Um, you know, our our team is divided up uh, very specifically to areas of expertise. And okay. so, you know, for the viewers at home, you're, you're paying fees to all these different advisors, right? You have a wealth management person and a CPA and a state planning attorney. And so you're paying each of those for advice. But if you're paying them for advice and they're not all talking to each other, are you getting the best advice? And so one of mm -hmm. the things with our process is dividing up the areas of expertise with the plan. Okay. And so having each one of those people sitting around the table together ends up with a better plan and it doesn't cost any more money. Okay. It's the same same cost. That's fantastic. And yeah. let's talk a little bit about the importance of working with the fiduciary. Tim, mm -hmm. what are your thoughts on that? Thank you. Uh, you know, <laughs> the, the word fiduciary mm -hmm. wasn't even a thing three years ago. Mm -hmm. And because of the mm -hmm. Department of Labor of Rule and the media, uh, people are now, they, they have an awareness of of the difference that you know a fiduciary can make and that their role uh, is to make sure that they're putting their client first in everything that they do. Mm. And so while that seems like that would just be automatic, and I think for most people yeah. it is, uh, I, I do believe that in our industry, most people have their client's best interest at heart. Sure. Uh, but the fiduciary role just, it's that, it's that extra level uh, where somebody knows that they're getting the best advice and it's advice that is going to be put in front of maybe the advisor or the firm that they're working for. Okay. So I, I think it's important. I do too, I mm -hmm. do too, Tim. How important is communication between an advisor and the client? Well, it's it's essential. Okay. Uh, you know, we joke all the time that you know we we blueprint people's lives. That's what the retirement blueprint is: is we put together a plan that um, you know is designed around each client. It's not a one size fits all, mm -hmm. uh, and so it's a custom plan. And then we do life together. That's 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 what our role is. And if you think about it, for for every advisor, whether it's uh, you know taxes or or an accountant that's doing that's helping with with that or you know an estate planning attorney our job is to live life with our clients mm. we don't have an event where we do one thing and then we're done it's a continual thing because things change absolutely right Especially as we went through last year, of course, 2020, we had so oh. many changes. You had people that were retiring early that yes. weren't planning on it. You mm -hmm. had adult children moving back in with parents sometimes. Mm -hmm. There were so many changes. So the plan has to be easily adjustable, correct? It has to be. Uh, and that's the whole idea of, you know, the retirement blueprint is, is designed around the idea, not of here's what's gonna happen, but more importantly, if things don't happen the way that they're supposed to, we have contingencies in place to make sure that each of the things that could potentially go wrong that we have a plan for, mm -hmm. which takes it off people's plate because that's, you know, fear is a horrible way to go through retirement. Absolutely. And we have enough things going on today with COVID and all of these other things to worry about without worrying about our financial plan. I agree. Well, mm -hmm. Tim, this is the perfect time for us to go ahead okay. and open up the phone lines for the first time this week. All right. To the viewers at home, the number on your screen to call is 855-684-3485. If you have questions about how to plan your perfect retirement, Tim has the answers for you. All you have to do is pick up the phone and call. He's offering 10 complimentary consultations today, basically a risk analysis, if you will, a risk allies report, correct, Tim? Right. That's it. That'll be to the first 10 callers only. All you have to do is take that first step, which is pick up the phone and call, and I can see the phones are already lighting up. Once again, 855-684-3485. We do have to take a very short commercial break, but when we come back, I'm going to have some more questions for Tim. Actually, they came from you, the viewers, so stay tuned. You don't want to miss. As you prepare for, transition into, and navigate retirement, there's one thing you're sure to have, questions. Lots of questions about retirement, like, when can I retire? Will I run out of money? Who pays for nursing home care? And many, many more. Axum Planning and Wealth Management uses the Beta Blueprint Retirement Planning software to help answer your questions. This program takes stacks of documents from every area of your financial life and converts them into one large picture. Just as you would never buy a house without seeing it first, why would you ever retire without being able to visualize it? 
By being able to see the whole picture, you can then make better decisions about your retirement. First, the blueprint looks at your top goals and concerns. Then, we look at your age and the trigger age decisions you have to make, like when to take Social Security, Medicare, and required minimum distributions. Next, we analyze your fixed income streams and compare that to your retirement lifestyle. For most people, their lifestyle exceeds their income, so we determine which assets to tap to make up the difference. When looking at assets, there are three key numbers we want you to know. The first number is the risk score of what you own. Every investor has a risk tolerance, and every investment has a risk score. The risk scale runs from 1 to 99, and the S&P 500 has a score of 78. We use a scientific framework that won the Nobel Prize for economics for its ability to identify true risk tolerance. If you were taking too much risk, when would you want to know? The second number we want to know is the maximum drawdown of what you own. Maximum drawdown is the maximum loss from a market peak to a market trough. The maximum drawdown of the S&P 500 in 2008 was about 51%. What was the maximum drawdown of what you own? And the third number is your annual withdrawal rate percent. If you're taking too much here, you could run out of money. Finally, we look at your insurance and long-term care. Do you have life insurance? If so, what type and does it expire? We analyze the income reduction from losing a spouse. We want to know if the surviving spouse will be protected. Have you planned for long-term care? Do you know all your health care options? Being able to put all this information in picture format is like watching holistic planning come to life. Your financial picture helps us identify the potential cracks and red flags in your overall retirement plan. Remember, a picture is worth a thousand words. Discover the power of the picture for your retirement. Learn how to get a blueprint of your life. And welcome back to Retirement UTV. My name is Cynthia DeFazio. I'm joined today by Tim Lofton, and he is CEO of the Retirement Blueprint. And again, Tim, I love seeing the phones light up like crazy. So we do have some viewer questions, and I'd love okay. to just jump right in because I love how they keep kind of coming in every week, sure. if you will. This was a great question. He said, Tim, I have a question, and he's from Dayton. It said, he said, did the IRS just change the rules on IRAs? That is, a, that is a great question. Indeed, they did. Okay. Um, in 2020, we had the, uh, the SECURE Act, mm -hmm. and the, uh, you know, I, I like to say that any time that, that the IRS gives us something, they typically take something away. Okay. And this is, this is it. The, the King James <laughs> Version, you know, they giveth and they yeah. taketh away. This is, this is that. So what they gave us uh, was additional time on how long till at what age I guess I should say that you have to start taking money out of your IRA. So remember that requirement required minimum distribution rule. Sure. And the, it used to be at 70 and a half you would have to start taking money out. There's a formula that the IRS has and you'd have to start taking money out and you would have to do that basically for the rest of your life. Well, mm -hmm. they changed that. Now it's 72. So Much they gave easier. us yes, a whole extra year and a half to defer mm -hmm. and an extra year and a half of savings. So that's the good news. The bad news is is that they took away one of our most powerful tools for planning and that was that stretch IRA, oh. you know, where basically you could pass on to your kids, to your grandkids and they could continue to defer that money for the for their entire Entire life and so it wasn't uncommon I mean for a, a client to pass away you know a daughter maybe 40 years old inherits you know a, a couple hundred thousand dollar IRA and it ends up being a multi-million dollar IRA over her lifetime mm. because think about it she's going to be able to defer that money for 30 40 50 years Wow! and so they they've changed that rule okay uh, the new rule says that you have 10 years to take the money out now, spouse to spouse, we're still the same. So, you know, for husband to wife, wife to husband, nothing has changed. You okay. still have the lifetime deferral on that money. But for anyone else, 
kids, grandkids, they have 10 years to take that money out. And mm. so different plan, uh, different planning tools. And as we always joke with the IRS, uh, if you don't like that rule, just hang around. I'm sure they'll change <laughs> it again. But for right now, that's that's the, the new environment that we have from a planning standpoint. Well, and I'm glad actually, because 72 is a lot easier to remember than 70 and a half. <laughs> yeah, it's right? like, how do you even figure that out? Like, oh my gosh, okay, six months into the calendar year, if you will, but I right. would be, uh, you'd have to have a little alarm on your phone. <laughs> well, it's even funnier than that, right? Because it's not, you know, it, what happens if my 70 and a half is into the next year yeah. and then there's there's another rule that's you know allowed you to, to defer the first payment and if you were born in a certain it was very confusing so yes. 72 is definitely a an easier number absolutely uh -huh. and I love this question Tim actually it's someone who called in who said they love your retirement blueprint they would like to know if you could go through the coordinates one more time of what makes that blueprint sure sure do we have that that graphic we should have okay. that graphic actually pretty um, close by again so so if, if you look at if you look at our plan, we we build it around what we call the five cornerstone essentials. And so the five cornerstones of planning, as as we define them, is having an income plan, an investment plan, a tax plan, a health care plan, which takes in everything from Medicare to long term care planning. And then, of course, the estate plan wraps around that whole package to make sure that things are working out the way they're, they're designed to do. And it, most importantly, it puts your plan in writing. And for our viewers at home, mm. I can't tell you how important it is that what you have up here, what you've talked with your spouse about, that it actually ends up in writing and is prepared by a professional attorney that, mm. that specializes in that area of law. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Let's talk a little bit about that because if someone does have a plan in place, Tim, mm -hmm. how important is it to have even your beneficiaries current and mm -hmm. lined up, if you will? Wow. Uh, I will tell you there are so many times that we, we've actually made a beneficiary review and annual process in our office. That's a great idea. And I'll, I'll tell you a little story. So we had a client, um, she was older, mm -hmm. uh, she was in, in her 80s, and she had 14 grandkids. Okay. And they were her beneficiaries. And every year we would we would have that list and, and I would show her the list and she would go down them and she would take her pen and she'd be like, yes, yes, yes. Nope, and she'd draw a line through them. And she <laughs> like would change if she, was mad? if she was mad at them. And she would actually take That's them, cute. she would take them off of her beneficiary. We'd do new paperwork. But uh, the, it's very important. I, I will tell you, even in, in trust planning, how many clients have come into our office who have a trust, mm. paid for a trust, have the documents, but never retitled their accounts in the name of the trust? Oh, wow. Now, that's partially on, on the attorney. Okay. But I'll also say it's it's also on, on the client, right? I mean it's your responsibility to make sure that things are titled the way the way that you want them to be titled. And you know, for our viewers at home, I'll tell you, you know, you you have to take this seriously. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a very important part of retirement is making sure that the people that you love and care about are going to get what you think that they're going to get. And the only way that happens, mm. as Cynthia, as you know, that it has to be in writing. Absolutely, it has mm. to be a plan. Mm. Well, Tim, this is the perfect time for us to go ahead and reopen the phone lines. Would okay. you agree? Sure, okay. let's do it. To the viewers at home, the number on your screen is the one to call. That number is 855-684-3485. We realized in the past that the phone lines have been busy, so we added the additional phone line for your convenience. Again, the number is 855-684-3485. What you're calling in for today is a complimentary consultation, a risk alize report, if you will. Let Tim take a look at what you currently have in place. Is it the right plan for you? Is it going to weather any storm? A plan that you had made perhaps a year ago isn't going to fit you this year and perhaps 5, 10, 15 years down the road. Like Tim says, he wants the opportunity to do life with you. Again, all you have to do today is pick up the phone and call. The number is 855 684 We'll be right back after this very short commercial break. When was the last time you saw your financial professional? Are you getting the most out of the strategy that was created for you? Although you've done a great job finding someone to help plan for your future, are you 100% sure that you were given the right strategy? 
We can help answer these questions and more with a complimentary second opinion evaluation. We will take a look at what you have in place and then help determine if you're well positioned to get the most out of your future retirement income. In the event that it is not, we can help by making suggestions and showing you how to get on the right path. You wouldn't get just one opinion when it comes to a major health decision. So why would you treat your most important financial decision with such disregard? Call today for your no cost, no obligation, second opinion evaluation to see if you're getting the most out of your retirement income plan. Welcome back to Retirement UTV. My name is Cynthia DeFazio and I'm joined today by Tim Lofton. And Tim is the CEO of the Retirement Blueprint. I love this, otherwise we talk about where you help people plan tomorrow, today. I love that tagline, mm -hmm. it's perfect actually. So let's talk a little bit, Tim, about um, you know the difference between tax preparation and tax planning. We talked about it in the beginning of the show, but let's dive a little bit further into that. Sure. So. You know, probably the best thing I can do is, is, is give you a, a, a client example of uh, an area where we saw a huge impact on uh, a client's life just based on the difference of actually doing tax planning. Mm. So the, the first thing to remember is, is that the IRS gives us the rules and the tools that we can utilize to put together our own plan. Okay. If we choose not to do that, the IRS has a plan. Okay. And so for our viewers at home, you get to decide, are you gonna go with the IRS's plan or are you gonna go with your plan? Because I mean, as you can imagine, the planning is different, oh, right? Oh, totally. And I'm so just thinking, yes. thinking through, uh, you know, for example, we talked about you know requirement required minimum distribution right mm -hmm. before we went to break, mm -hmm. and required minimum distribution is easily understandable because the IRS actually has a website. You can actually Google what is my RMD and the IRS has a website you put in your age and how much you have in your IRA and it'll tell you every year exactly how much you're going to have to take out so we know the numbers okay it's not a mystery and, and I think a lot of times uh, the mistake uh, that people make is that they don't they don't look far far enough out when they're when they're doing their their RMD planning and so we had a client that, that came in, no kids. Mm -hmm. uh, they had about two and a half million dollars in IRA assets. And their, their, their concern was, you know, how are we going to, uh, you know, figure out our estate plan and we don't really have beneficiaries. And that was kind of where they, why they came in, was mm -hmm. really for estate planning. Okay. And you know the question that I asked, I said, well, I said, what about the, the the tax part? You know, we talked about required minimum distribution. They said, oh, Tim, we're good. We're we're totally good. The the amount that we have is going to generate the amount of money we need in retirement. When I turned seventy and a half, because it was seventy and a half at the time before they just this year changed it to seventy two. Right. Uh, the amount that they were going to receive was exactly what they needed in addition to their pension and their social security. Okay. And I said, well, that's great. I said, I understand that at, at 70 and a half it works out. I said, what about at age 90? And they're like, well, what do you mean? I said, well, at age 90, their required minimum distribution went from the amount of money they needed mm -hmm. to about $650,000 a year. Wow that they did not need. Oh my. And so, you know, a lot of times you'll you'll see um, people talking about things like uh, Roth conversions yes. and things of that nature mm -hmm, in mm -hmm. trying to help prepare for or eliminate or in, you know, we talk a lot of in, in, in tax world that, you know, we're not in the tax elimination business, we're in the tax minimization business. Sure. And, and that's exactly it. The problem is, I think for a lot of folks, they have that upfront tax that they have to pay a lot of times to gain that long-term uh, uh, benefit. Okay. And so I think that's the wrestling match that a, that a lot of people have. But wouldn't you rather have the number sitting in front of you to look at versus just crossing your fingers and hoping it all works out. Most definitely. And again, what it comes down to, Tim, is having a plan, but most importantly, having an advocate on your side to help you with every step of that plan. Would yes, you agree? Absolutely. I mean, having, having uh, a team mm -hmm. 
that is looking out for your best interests in each of the different areas yeah. of you know, an investment plan, an income plan, a tax plan, health care and long-term care plan, and then of course your estate plan mm. is essential for every retiree. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Tim, let me ask you a question. What does it feel like when someone comes into your office? What can they expect? Well, uh, a smile. Uh, okay. That's the first thing. Uh, when you when you come into our into our office, they're they're gonna they're gonna meet Shannon, and and she's always smiling. So okay. uh, even even in uh, even with a mask on, she still smiles. So it's it, that's really great. But <clears throat> I think the the first thing that people are going to notice is that it's different. Um, you know, we we don't start talking about uh, you know the idea of uh, you know our wealth management team is not immediately giving them investment advice and showing them these uh, charts of you know how their money is going to grow that's not what it's all about I mean we mm -hmm. start out with actual planning and getting to know people and our first meeting is really just that it's getting to know someone okay. understanding their family dynamic and what their their hopes and dreams and aspirations are so very conversational. Totally conversational. Okay. Are there any documents people need to be bringing with them, Tim, for their first meeting with you? Yes, there is. In fact, we send out a, a, an email uh, that basically outlines what people are to bring to the office, and it gives them uh, kind of a step-by-step -step of, of what they should should put together. And it's very important uh, that, that people are coming to the office with the, the different things, and most people have that. They have a, mm -hmm. uh, that three-ring binder, seems what they come in with, and it's kind of got everything laid out, and, and they're kind of looking at it from the standpoint of, of here's my stuff. Sure. And then we take that, and we put together a blueprint, and take all the stuff in that three-ring binder, and put it on one piece of paper. Okay. And it's, it really makes a difference. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you a question. If someone is perhaps in the audience right now and they're five years away from retirement, mm -hmm. what's the most important advice you have them? We have less than a minute left. Um, call our phone number. Okay. Uh, that's that 855-684-3485 that and schedule a time. I, I mean, uh, for our viewers, this is, this is your opportunity to take all the hard work of you know, 20, 30, 40 years and everything that you have done up until this point, you owe it to yourself and your family to put a plan together to make sure that you are going to be taken care of and that they're gonna be taken care of. Tim, thank you so much for another amazing show. And I know the viewers are enjoying all the information you're providing. So thank you again for coming in. Thanks. To the viewers at home, thank you for spending time with us again this week. We know you have questions about retirement. Tim has the answers for you. The number is on your screen. Thank you again for watching. Be safe, be happy, be blessed, and we'll see you back next week.